don't drop off your animals at my property. <laughs> like, it, you'd think that would be pretty simple for people to understand. I am pissed off this morning, that's for sure. So what happened was, is I got to work and I'd probably been there about an hour and Sarah sent me a text. I read the text and then I reread the text and thought, oh. So I picked up the phone and I called her and I said, what, what's going on? And she said, someone stopped at the end of the driveway, got out, let two roosters out of their car and then sped off. And I'm thinking, what, what? What do you mean let two roosters out of the... Someone stopped at the driveway, let two chickens out of their car, and left. <sighs> Don't dump animals on my property at all for any reason. There's a lot of reasons. I'm going to set this down. I'm, I'm so mad. We'll fix that camera and I'll, you know what, I don't need to be looking down at you guys like I'm preaching to you. Here, let me fix this here a second. We'll turn this up and we'll look at the sky for a second and we'll turn this down and uh, try to get it so it sits here and doesn't fall over or nothing. So, and I'll try to actually look at the camera lens that I'm terrible at. Don't drop animals off in my house. Don't d ditch your animals on my land. I don't want them. I certainly don't need them. We have plenty of our own chickens. Thank you. I, so now I don't know, you know, I, I'm, I'm sure that they had the best of intentions that we would just naturally take care of their problem that they don't want to have anymore. And that it's perfectly fine that they can drop them off at my house and I'll be the new caregiver to these two roosters. But a couple things. One, it's really important for us to have a certain number of roosters for our hens. You can't just have 15 roosters and 15 hens. That will be a bloodbath, literally. Um, and we're pretty much at our limit right now as far as how many, uh, how many we can have. Uh, we just lost one. Uh, which is unfortunate, but we probably were maxed out with three roosters the way that it was. So, and I'll get to how we, we lost that, that one. That's kind of sucks, but you, you know, I, I'm kind of at a loss for words, to be honest with you. I, I just, I, I can't believe somebody would just stop and drop an animal off at somebody's house. So put all that aside for a second um so so now i'm out here and i i don't know where they went i tried calling the, the neighbors have chickens as well so i i tried call, giving the neighbors a call uh we want to make sure that we give them a heads up that there's a couple of rogue roosters running around um you know i definitely don't want anything to happen with their flock of uh of chickens and um you know so i, I hate to say it but i i don't know if the birds have anything wrong with them I, I don't know what what the situation is um, so it's probably gonna be uh, uh, eliminate you know on site type of situation with this so it's unfortunate so I don't know so I guess the other thing that I'm kind of doing out here is uh, and this is usually not the best way to go about this but we've been having an issue with a coyote for about the last two weeks that uh, keeps getting after the chicken so he'll also be a uh, immediate dispatch if seen and uh, I, uh, I'm not real thrilled about about that neither so sorry about that there's a lot of weeds that keep catching out of this tripod so yeah what a frustrating situation you know we, we think that we've had this actually happen before, um, but not with, uh, 
not with chickens. We think that we actually had it happen with one of our cats. Um, so uh, about a year and a half ago or so, we had a, uh, a cat show up on the porch one day and and it was pretty scrawny and malnourished and you know it wasn't awful but we didn't know what to do so i think uh sarah went on the community pages and and showed a picture of her and, and posted all about her and we ended up putting her in the barn with uh uh in kind of her own little spot and started trying to feed her and get her back healthy and and um running uh, feeling good again and i'm gonna set this down one more time I'm just going to adjust the height so I can stop catching the bottom of the tripod. And um, anyways, we uh, we think she got dropped off here too. She, you know, she's a great cat. Um, unfortunately, you know, she, you can hear the busy road behind me. The cats sometimes find the road. So it's, it's too bad, but I'm not going to have them locked up in a pen. They're free to do what they want to. So, um... But, you know, just, I think she got dropped off here, and now this deal this morning with these, these two chickens, I think, I think that's what Sarah said. She, she, um, she saw it out the window while she was trying to get ready for work, and she went running out there, and by the time she got out there, I guess the person had sped off and gotten away, and the dogs are out chasing the roosters around, and, you know, is just kind of a circus to start the morning. So I just I, I don't really know what to what to say to anybody or what to do about it. You know, I mean I could call the county sheriff. What are they gonna do? Show up for two chickens? I mean, that that's I don't think that's worth my time and I don't think it's worth their time either. So you know and I thought about going on some of the community pages uh and and you know making a comment but you know Usually those community pages, as much as I do utilize them and, and think they're pretty handy to, you know, kind of keep in touch with your neighbors, it, it ends up just being a circus and, you know, somebody has some snide comment for another person and then that snowballs into that taking over the entire post when, honestly, the original posting had nothing to do with that subject at all. So uh, I don't think that's worth my time and anybody else's time either but and i'm not even sure wandering around out here is worth my time but well that might be a little bit more worth my time i just found a giant pile of feathers so i guess i know where something's eating something you'd think i'd be more upset about this kind of stuff but this don't bother me a whole lot you get these burrs all over you, you just pick them off and deal with it life of me i i don't it must be my personality or something but i i cannot conceive of anything that would possess a person to think that the best option for them is to just drop their animals off at a complete stranger's property and hope for the best it would have been a completely different situation if they'd have knocked on the door and said hey i see you have chickens there would you please take a couple more because we can't house them for winter I probably still would have said no, but I might have even come up with a couple of options for them that would have been better than dropping them on somebody's land. You know, and I, I hate the fact that I have to be out here basically hunting two chickens. You know, that's not what I wanted to do this morning. That's not what I want to do any morning. I mean, we, we have to do some things sometimes and make choices with our own animals, and they're not always pleasant. It doesn't, I don't feel good about them. It, it, they're just sometimes it's just part of life of of having to deal with stuff you know a couple of years ago we uh we incubated a whole bunch of chi uh, chicken eggs and we ended up with a bunch of chickens out of it and i want to say that we probably had about a 60 percent ratio of uh roosters to hens well like i told you before i can't have 17 roosters and 17 hens it's not going to work you know, so it's not one of those things where I get real excited about having to deal with with that. You know, I mean, we know we can't have that many roosters, so got to get rid of some. You know, it's that doesn't mean I'm going to, sorry, I'm still picking the, the burrs off of my shirt. Um, you know, but that doesn't, that doesn't, you know, give me the right to take the chickens that we have and go dump them on my neighbor's land. You know, 
I told you they got chickens. He, he probably doesn't want me to stop by and just drop off a half dozen roosters or, you know, maybe a pig or a cow or I'd give anything to see that coyote right now, though. I'll tell you that. So he's, he's eating more than his fair share. I, I can promise you that it's up to, I think we got, have lost about eight birds at this point. And, uh, and unfortunately it took us a few, few birds to realize what was happening. We, we initially thought it was an eagle problem. Um, you know, if you, if you like seeing eagles, this is the place to do it. My, my other neighbor down here has got a few hundred acres of, uh, cows, uh, and I've never seen more eagles in a concentrated area ever in my life. You can go down there right now and there'll be a tree down by the road. And I'm, I'm not kidding you. There will be 20 bald eagles sitting in a single tree down there. It's, it's pretty cool looking, but, uh, we thought that was the issue because we had, uh, we had one of the ducks get attacked by an eagle one day. Thankfully, he didn't do didn't do any damage. But um, but yeah, so it, you know, stupid coyote. Well, he's just doing his job too. So that's he don't know any better. He he's looking for food. He's hungry. I don't need people dropping off animals so I can make content. I got plenty of great ideas. My biggest problem is the time to do it. You know, uh, you know, for you guys that have watched a lot of our videos. You know, when we're making videos, you're, you're doing everything uh, in a sequence or you're doing things twice. It, it takes a lot longer to shoot. I, I can't just come out and do chores, shoot video, and then put it out for you guys. It, it doesn't work like that. It, it, I need to come out here and I need to plan, okay, we're going to do this, 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 and this, and then film it and then, you know, I might be mid-sentence and a rooster's crowing or something like that, and you guys don't get to hear it. You get to hear the rooster crow, which is awesome, but you don't get to hear what I'm saying, you know, or what Sarah says or something like that. But I don't, I don't need any more content. Don't drop your animals off here so I can make videos like this. I, I don't want to make videos like you this. You know, and I don't even know why, but this just dawned on me. I asked Sarah which way the dogs chased them, and she showed me and so that's where I headed first I didn't even go down to the chickens maybe they're maybe they're down there with the chickens so I think we'll walk over there and see if that's the case I'd be pretty surprised you know I mean our roosters are are pretty good roosters they're fairly docile they're not extremely territorial they they might be somewhat accepting but then again I've also seen them tangle with the ducks a time or two so they do know how to hold their ground and and uh and they want their their little property to remain remain theirs as well so but yeah here we'll just go we'll go check and see how they're doing well how's it going girls huh hey you made yourself a little pit over there that's kind of cool yeah Got any more uh, extra roosters around? Should we check in here? Make sure that there ain't a couple extra birds eating all your food. I know that's what you'd be most worried about. So, who's in here? Yeah, who's in here? Oh, holy shit, I gotta show you guys this. Look at this. See this? Look in the back. I'll try to get in here and not scare everybody half to death. Here, look back in there. Yeah, see that? See what's going on back there? Yeah, someone felt like they needed to sit on a couple of eggs. And now they got some extra little birdies back there. And I think that one is in the wrong spot. So we're going to go check that out. Well, how the heck did you do that? I swear to God, when I just looked, you were on this side. Oh, maybe you're crawling through that little hole down there. How you doing in there, mama? Yeah. See, and then like you got those two little chicks there. Like both of those could be roosters. Well, that's not going to fit in with what we got going here. So, you know, unfortunately, they're probably going to end up being uh, dinner probably Wednesday and Thursday night. So not anytime soon. That, that wouldn't feed you. Foghorn, let's talk. You got a couple more roosters around here and you got to keep your eye. I am. I'm talking to you. 
How's the quackers? Huh? How you guys doing? Yeah? Looks like you drank all your water, so I'll probably work on a remedy for that. And maybe we'll go swimming in the pond later. Got my old tractor with the new paint job. If you didn't get to see that video, go check it out. Also, there's a pretty funny video. Uh, what was it, like last weekend or something, Sarah decided she wanted to drive the tractor for herself for the first time. So there's a funny video of her doing, hey, Foghorn, you're back. So, All right. Hey, let's talk. There's a couple of roosters around here. I need you to keep an eye out for them. And if you see them, just crow or something, and I'll come running. All right, let's go for that walk down to the pond. Come on, guys. Come on out. No, no, don't go in. This is not what I had planned. I didn't want you to go into the coop and then have all the chickens go into the... This is a fiasco. All right. Some of the ducks are going to the pond. All right, let's go for a swim. Yeah, you see the water getting all excited? Yeah, so unfortunately, like I was saying, we like to keep our animals safe. So the ducks have been locked up lately because, they, well, they keep wanting to cross the road to go to the little creek on the other side of the 55 mile an hour road instead of coming down here and hanging out in this beautiful pond all day. Holy crap, pretzel! What are you doing, buddy? Huh? You find anything good out here? Why don't you go find that coyote and give him a black eye? I bet you would. How's it going? Good to see you. All right, fine. I won't touch it. You got some burrs on you, too. All right. Carry on. Go find something to kill. That's pretty much all you do. So anyways, we... We basically have been just walking the ducks down here a few times a day and letting them play and bathe and i mean look at them they look like they're having a blast i don't know why they don't want to just come out here and hang out all day i don't understand why they got to cross the road for a little creek on the other i mean it's a drainage ditch so you think there'd be a lot more stuff down here yeah go swim where's your buddies at why'd they stay at the barn should we go try to get them what the heck made that oh, that's some pretty nice black soil though yeah, I see you up there. I don't know what you're doing. All your friends are down at the pond. Now you're wanting to go in there. There's nothing in there for you. Yeah, go go down to the pond. Yes. Let's go. Go, go, go. Okay, take a right. Take a right. Nope, that's a left. You're still going the wrong way. All right, we're going to go all the way around the barn then. Oh, I got a and flat tire yep let's go I know you don't know what to do because you don't know where your friend is all your friends are down there in the water Mr. Drake Mallard could you please Mr. Drake Mallard could you please go down to the water just go down to the water yep there get going thanks pretzel yep look you're going to be so happy when you get down there. You're going to see your friends. You guys are going to swim around and play. Probably beat up on each other a little bit. All in good fun. Yep, there we go. Yep, watch how fast you swim out there. I bet it's instantly. Oh, yeah, isn't that good? Maybe I'll go get my swimsuit and join you. I know this video is a lot of rambling and griping, but honestly, it kind of calmed me down a little bit. We still got the problem of where these two birds are. We still got the problem of telling people that, dang it, don't drop off your animals at my property. Like, it, you'd think that would be pretty simple for people to understand. But uh, I don't know. I'll let you guys know if they... They get found and what ends up happening with them. But for now, I, I, uh, I'll just keep looking. And, you know, let me just say this as, as the last thing. You know, we, we try to make a lot of good content for you guys. A lot of times the ideas start out as, as uh, something I think would be enjoyable. And, and hopefully you guys end up finding enjoyment in them as well. Um, 
But, you know, the, some of the biggest things you guys can do to support us, if you enjoy the content, is, uh, you know, watch the whole video. And if you're enjoying it, you're probably watching the whole video. Um, you know, get, comment, give us your thoughts, you know. It, it's We get a lot of great comments on the YouTube channel, but it's hard to get people to comment and tell us what they like. And, and you know, oh, we want to see more of this or we want to, you know, or stop talking about that, you know. And, but I thank you. Thank you guys. This has been a fun couple of years of doing this. I really enjoy it. And uh, I'm planning on continuing for as long as uh, we're having fun. So thanks. And uh, you know, if you if you didn't catch the last couple of videos, uh, I'll put one up here that's uh, me painting the tractor and I'll, I'll put the other one up here with uh, Sarah driving. So she had a pretty good time and I think you'll be uh, entertained. Uh, have a good day. All right, playtime's over. Let's go back to the barn, come on. Yep, it's time to go. Get your ducks in a row.